Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us. Let's now talk to you about what's happening in Uttarkashi in Uttarakhand. It was on the 12th of November when you had the Uttarkashi tunnel collapse, which led to 40 workers and laborers who still continue to be trapped inside this tunnel, even as rescue operations still continue. The debris has increased, delaying the rescue operation. It amounts to 70 meters now. A new pipeline has also been set up so that those who are stuck inside can now be given some solid food. The third and the final piece of the American auger machine has also now reached the spot. A trenchless method will be reportedly used for drilling horizontally. It will also use mild steel pipes in order to create a stable passageway. If everything goes according to the plan, it is, except, it is expected that the first person will come out in the next 24 to 36 hours. It's a harrowing time for those who are still trapped, rescue workers and relatives are waiting to hear from their loved ones. But it is also important to note that the workers are still safe. So let's now break down the details in terms of what does this tunnel actually look like? What are the rescue operations also looking like? Let's break down all those details. As we pointed out, it looks like it is going to be still a while before we see the first visual of the labourers being pulled out. This entire tunnel where these labourers have been stuck since the 12th of November has a width of 13 metres. If you further look at the tunnel inside, about 70 meters of the tunnel is blocked and this is where the laborers in fact are trapped. If you talk about the rescue efforts that are happening, the machines that have been brought in, the drilling machines are there at the spot. The drilling speed is about 5 meters per hour but it's the movement of the debris that continues to be a huge challenge. As we pointed out, the main hurdle now is the following debris. Every time they clear out certain area, then you have a fresh set of debris that falls in, which creates a blockade once again. As we pointed out, new machinery also now has been brought in. It is the American auger, which in fact was taken from the national capital. That's at the spot. So work is happening. But if all goes as per plan, experts are telling us within the next 24 to 36 hours, we should have the first visuals of the laborers, in fact, being pulled out. At this point, experts are also trying to see if there is a possibility of giving these workers who've been trapped since the 12th of November some sort of solid food. We'll connect with our colleagues in just a bit, but first, let's take a look at some ground reports. जूलॉजी क्या वो हमें पता नहीं मशीन लगाई है इससे पहले भी लगाई थी वो ठीक तरह से नहीं चली अब दूसरी मशीन लग गई तो अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश चल रही है देखते क्या क्या उसका प्रोग्रेस क्या रहा है इट हैज बीन मोर देन 90 आवर्स नाउ द 40 लेबरर्स हु आर स्टक इनसाइड आर स्टिल बिहाइंड द डेब्री द रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशंस आर कंटिन्यूइंग इन फैक्ट the heavy duty American auger machine has reached on the spot and the assembly is in its last stages. Within the next few hours, we can actually expect that the drilling process would start. As you can see in the visuals over here, that the entire administration is absolutely in readiness just to make sure that as soon as the drilling process starts and we see the first person coming out of the tunnel, uh, they can actually be uh, taken to the nearest hospital at the earliest. That is the main focus of the administration at this point in time. Now this American auger machine that has been brought on uh, on this spot, it will dig at a very very high speed. At this point in time, it is predicted that the debris between the rescue workers uh, and the people who are stuck inside is 70 meters. And this drilling machine will work at a pace of 5 meters per hour. So we can expect that within the next 10 to 12 hours will be the time taken for these people to finally come out, if at all the entire uh, entire operation goes according to the plan because yes the terrain is very very difficult and also there are heavy duty machines that are stuck beneath the debris as well so as soon as the drilling operation will start we will get to know as to how much time it will take but it has been more than 90 hours food oxygen water is being constantly supplied to all the workers who are present over here within the next few hours we are also expecting some ministers to also come on the ground and to administer the situation out here but yes the good news and the only silver lining problem being that all the 40 workers are absolutely absolutely safe hali update ye hai ki kal se jo humne koshish ki thi ek auger lagaya tha auger ek machine hoti jisse 800 dia 
के उसमें पाइप एम एस पाइप से हम ड्रिल करते जाते हैं और मिट्टी निकालते जाते हैं ताकि 800 सौ mm डाया के अंदर से हम लोगों को बाहर निकाल सके ये हम एक टनल बनाने की कोशिश चल रही है हमने देखा कुछ कार्य उससे थोड़ा धीरे हो रहा है क्योंकि जो मशीन थी वो उसका रेट बहुत कम था तो इसके लिए हमने एक अमेरिकन ऑगर करके मशीन है वो हमने रिक्विजिशन किया है जो कि दिल्ली से आ चुकी है हमने एयरलिफ्ट कराया एयरलिफ्ट कराया तो हमें वायुसेना ने भारतीय वायुसेना ने हमें सहायता की तीन हमें उनने हरक्यूलिस 130 एयरक्राफ्ट हमें दिया नहीं नहीं मशीन फेलियर नहीं है मशीन की कैपेसिटी है फोर्टी मीटर लॉन्ग बोरिंग करने की धीरे धीरे इनका जो जब शुरू में इनका मलबा गिरा था वो 25 से 30 मीटर गिरा था 25 से 30 मीटर अगर ये स्टे कर जाता तो वो मशीन फेलियर नहीं थी अब इनका मलबा हो गया 70 मीटर ये मलबा पिछले 12, 13, 14, 14 तक 14 तारीख तक छः बार ऊपर से गिर चुका है गिर के उसका स्पैन जो है वो 70 मीटर हो गया है मेरी मशीन 70 मीटर तक काम नहीं कर सकती मेरी मशीन 45 मीटर तक काम कर सकती है जो अभी उस मशीन जो आई है ये सेना के विशेष विमानों से आई है अभी तक दो विमान उतर चुके हैं और उनका जो सामान्य उसका ट्रांसपोर्टेशन चल रहा है और शीघ्र ही तीसरा विमान भी लैंडिंग के उम्मीद है और एक बार जब सारा सामान यहाँ ट्रांसपोर्ट हो जाएगा उसकी असेंबली होगी असेंबली में जो समय लगेगा अभी एन एच के अधिकारियों ने बताया है कि चार पाँच घंटे का समय लगने की उसमें उम्मीद है और उसके तुरंत बाद मशीन ऑपरेशनल हो जाएगी So authorities continuing to work round the clock with the new machines that have been brought in the next 24 hours are going to be very crucial we'll keep tracking all those developments for now we do have to slip into a very short break